we go ahead and get to the next topic. Uh, all right, let's do it. Is Chris Paul done? Darius? Mm. Hold oh, on, before you go, Darius, are, are we going to talk about this Beverly thing with this too, or are we just going to? Oh, yeah, not? we can talk about We might as well. We might as well put everything it's all, all about together. Chris Paul. No, I'm not. I'm put it like this, man. Put it like this. You need to put respect on my boy name, bro. Like, I don't know why they treating Chris Paul with the most up disrespect. I don't know why, bro. Like, I just don't know why. And, but, uh, he's still like a Hall of Famer in my eyes, bro. And, like, damn, it sucks that he lost. He, like, 38, 37 right now. And, like, his time coming to the end, to be honest. But is he done? No, he's not done. He, he not. Look, he's not my fault. He's not his fault, you feel me? That one of the main scorers of the team have a hard time scoring. He's not his fault. CP3 is not a scorer. He is not a scorer. He a passer. Yeah, he scores some nights, but he can't score all the time. People forgetting that, like, CP3 came to the lead back mid-2000s. He the mid-2000s point guard. He's not like no new generation point guard who the part threes or like just go out real bro he still get it done in the day and he still make me mad right yeah because the sun's wanted nothing before cpg like joined the team last time they became something with steve nap steve nap was still playing for them but as soon as cp3 joined first year finals come on now next year playoffs then they put respect on my boy name, bro. Like, all the disrespect, bro. Patrick Berry, he... Who is he? He don't have no room to talk. Like, he literally don't have no room to talk, bro. He don't have no room to talk. Like, for the man who just keep on talking, you would think he had, like, multiple championships. How's the way he talk, bro? I promise you. He would fool everybody <laughs> to look at his stats. He's like, damn, this nigga not good either. <laughs> Why are you talking? But in the, the day, CP3 not done. He he not done, bro. I agree with you. I don't think he done either. But like, I think I read a stat where he scored like wait, was it how many points he scored? Like one point in like the first three quarters or something like that? Or am I tripping? Uh, talking about the last game. Yeah, that last game when they got blown out. And then okay, Evan Brooker and CP3 didn't really score shit like the first half. It was like zero sight on both of them. But CP3 with two beats trying to pass that bit instead of like trying to scope. Yeah, it showed up a little bit too late. Yeah. I mean, the way I, okay, I'm gonna go straight, straight to the Patrick Beverly thing because that's what I want to get to. Um, The way I look at it, man, you know, people, are, a lot of people are saying like what Patrick Beverly said was disrespectful, but I think he was just keeping it 100, bro. He was just keeping it real. You know, that's that's what, you know, journalists and analysts do. Like, you know, they say how they feel about it. Now, look, I ain't going to lie, bro. He he might, uh, you know, cut some bridges, bro. Like, people ain't going to trust him no more because, you know, he out here. But, he uh, out here selling. Yeah, go ahead. But you keep on going. I feel like no, no, no. You, I, I, oh. You go ahead. Okay, by the analyst thing, bro. This nigga, like, bringing up people's names, bro. He bring up Paul George's name in, like, the bash of CP3. Yeah. I was like, bro, you don't have no type of chill. Like, you finna talk trash, talk trash. Don't bring up nobody else's name. You're not dead to friend themselves, bro. Like, I mean, he hesitated. He like, I ain't gonna say no names. No, one, never mind. Sight. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Hey, like, at least he said, like, um, I think at the beginning of the interview, he said, like, you know, he was a Hall of Famer. He made sure he got that out of the way before he bashed him. Yeah, he said, "Don't get me wrong, he a Hall of Famer." They like, I think that's the only compliment he gave him. And then you're like, "No, nah, okay." <sighs> Time for the good part. <laughs> they, didn't he have beef with him, CP3 and uh, Patrick Beverly? I think Bro, they chose each other or something like that. I don't know. I, I think I remember like he shoved them. The only them. thing I remember about Patrick Beverly on CP3 is um uh, Pat Bell pushed CP3 in the back. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking about. Yeah, I don't know, bro. Like, that shit happened out of nowhere. The, the way he was talking, bro, he was talking I don't like, know, man. He was talking like he was angry. Well, yeah. What's up, Los? Man, I don't know, because I mean, like, with Pat, bro, I feel like, like, you know, like, 
I, I'm gonna say like this. I just pretty much feel like he just hating on uh, on um, Chris because I. Uh, Chris is not somebody you could just talk about in a bad way. Chris is not the type of person where, like, you look at Chris, he's a people's person. So I don't see how can you talk bad about somebody that's one, a Hall of Famer. Two, um, he know what he's doing when it comes to winning. And three, like, he, all around, he what, what is the president of the um, players organization? Like, how, yeah. how, can you, how can you talk bad about somebody like that? And especially on a lot of TV with it. So I'm definitely against it for one, because I feel like that's not man to man. You got a problem with a man, you should talk to him face to face about it. That's just how I see about it. Instead of just going on TV, say what you gotta say about him, talking about like it's cool. Yeah, we understand. Ain't nobody scared of Phoenix Suns. We know that. We understand. We just see Luca Luca gave them hell. The last three, four games they played. <laughs> Luca was on their neck all the way through. Yo, Luca, that, God damn. Huh? Yeah, like if anything out of the West, everybody scared Luca. Cause Luca, Luca get going, it's over. It is over. So it's like, like Pat Brev ain't wrong about saying that that everybody more scared Luca out of the West than they is scared the Sun, which is true enough. Because I mean, like the Suns don't put no fear in nobody's heart. If anything, we come and if, if there's a full team that talk about that might, that could put fear in your heart, might be the Memphis Grizzlies. I can't really say the Warriors because um, the Grizzlies kind of exposed them. So like that gives them ass a lot of a lot of like when they watch the film, they can see they can see what's going on. But we we off now. It's about Chris Paul. So Chris Paul, most to say, Chris Paul not done. I mean, I feel like he still got a lot lot left in the tank. It's like LeBron. They both touching forties, and they still got a lot left in the tank to try to win the championship. But I, I can I can kind of see Chris Paul and LeBron teaming up. So went one ring together. I could kind of see that. Yeah, Chris Paul mentor too to a whole bunch of these dudes. So like the fact that he said all that is like you know it's crazy. Chris Paul got like a CP3 effect. <laughs> What's his contract looking like, by the way? Uh, Chris Paul's contract. I think he got Let me like go a contract. I think he, he resigned last year, but they signed like extension sort of. Probably look it up. I'm probably wrong, but I know he be signed. I don't know the. Contract. Oh, he got two more years. Yeah, two more years. Yeah. But yeah. when you said like nobody scared of Phoenix, bro, I'm not saying, ah, bro. I don't understand. Like you in your in your mood right now, in your groove. But Phoenix is a dangerous team. Like we ended on like a good day, bro. I mean, it's it's Phoenix kind of like a fluky team because even going back to last year, man, like. The teams that they were playing, like, those were a whole bunch of injury te- injury prone teams. Like, when they finally faced the healthy Bucks, like, they got they got smashed, bro. Well, if it wasn't fluke, they shouldn't be number one. They wouldn't be number one. And with the. I was talking about playoff wise. Well, playoff wise, but. Yeah. Same with the Lakers. <laughs> but, uh, in the finals last year, who the hell gonna stop me on this? Like to be honest, who like who the hell gonna stop Giannis last year, bro? And how the um Suns like down the backcourt, I believe. I forgot confused by the courts, but the big man will put like that around the big man's. They not good enough to stop Giannis. I don't know if you've seen the stats I've seen, y'all. The Luca at rebound on this last night. Yeah, I seen a stat where like he just he had more points like than this player with receiving. I mean rebounding points. Whoa, the this assist. Dab, dab. Yeah, that's it, bro. But anywho, speaking of not speaking of, but Luca, he dangerous, bro. He, I've been telling y'all I had had the mask. I had them. I had them as an underdog. Luca dangerous. I'm not surprised that they did fucking ran. To be honest, but I'm not surprised. Cause that man that. Luca been giving people promise since day one. I remember the first time you played LeBron, play on Bron, you blocked on um, Bron two times in one game. First time playing against him. His couple playoffs against the Clippers, he cut the whole goddamn team. All, multiple games. Yeah, he still lost because he still got Kawhi and PG. Everybody hard to beat that group right there, but. He was cooking Kawhi. 
one of the best defensive players in the game right now. Argue. I said, bro, y'all did disrespect the Suns, bro. I did totally disrespect towards the Suns and CP3. Where the Suns go from here, though? What What you think? Um, shit. We can't end on that. You know. I feel like uh, I can still see the Suns still being being a playoff contender, but I don't see how much as a problem anymore. Because I'm pretty sure no, after what just happened in the playoffs, I feel like that most teams is going to play like that against the Suns. Because, I mean, as long as you got a guy that, that is unstoppable and can get going in a hurry, I feel, like, I feel like that's a problem right there for the Suns, to be honest. But I still see them as playoff contenders. But as far as, like, being the best team out the West, uh, it's going to kind of drop because now it, it, what it's going to start look like is Grizz. And them Mavs, man, them boys are, yeah. yeah. And them uh, Timberwolves, that's how I forget about them, too. Them three teams, young young teams. And they only getting better and better. So, the Suns, I mean, as far as, like, they still play out contenders as far as finals, I'm not really sure. I think that's a what that's a one-time going around with the finals. I'm, I believe they still can make it to the finals. Just... Do like some drafting because he need like a couple more players, bro. Because um, instead of like Debra and CP3, they need to find another player who can score like as a second score type-ish. But I thought he can make it back to the finals. I thought he can. But now, um, yeah, they got exposed, but I feel like they need to work around that. They can. And I don't know who the damn the head coach is right now. But the head coach did bad at adjusting, like in general. Like last year in the finals, he did tell by adjusting to like offenses. Uh, I feel like if they mess around, plays on the zone or something, like the um, Celtics did well, with KD in the Nets, they would be good. Nah, by them, with the upcoming Dion team, like Memphis, Timberwolves, all that, yeah, it would be some promise there in the Dell, but. At the end of the day, it come out to the better team. Now with Luca, that just you can't say shit. That's basically like a one v fucking five, to be honest. Hey, Luca would take out the whole team by himself. <laughs> he, he did it with yeah. the times. I don't remember the last time play did that. <laughs> hey, what Luca said? They want to act tough when they up, right? <laughs> like, bro, I feel bad because Deeper was shit talking Luca. I said, bro, don't do that. Don't do it. He loved the shit talking. Up pumps. Every time somebody shit talk Luca, he get like 10 times better. Like he got them like super saying, bit. Every time saying get the ass beat to get stronger. That was yeah. Luca did. <laughs> and then they got stronger after shit talking. <laughs> I said, bro, don't touch. Don't talk trash to Luca. Please don't. Don't give him a reason. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying, don't give him a reason to act out now. 